Hello and welcome to Living Life with Purpose. I'm your host, Phil Foster. You know, God has provided many different ways to show us that He exists. He didn't just create us and put us down here on planet Earth and try to figure it out for ourselves. Uh, one theologian said that one of the ways we know God exists is the thing we call the cosmological argument. And basically what that tells us is that because we're here, we just didn't show up by accident. Now we who believe in the Bible, we know that the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Now there are some who are into evolution that say, well, you know, just matter floating around, you know, bumped into each other and created everything. But, you know, the reality is, is all that matter that was supposed to be floating around had to come from somewhere. Where did that stuff come from? What came from God? God is the uncaused caused. He's the first cause. So we know that there had to be a first cause. And that second leads me to the uh, teleological argument that theologians use. And they would say, for example, if you look at your watch, you know that the watch had to have a watchmaker. And so when I look at all the green grass and the blue sky and everything, I know there had to be a God who created everything. Then we have the, um, we have the cosmological, the cause, we have the teleological, then the ontological. And that's the fact that we, we know in our heart that there is a God that exists. Every culture and every time, every place has always worshipped something. Unfortunately, they don't all worship the right thing. Some worship trees or rocks. And uh, we don't have time to get into all the ways we know that we're supposed to worship the Lord Jesus. But just the fact that you know there's a God shows us that God is placed within the heart of man. We know that God exists. And then there's the moral argument. The moral argument is you wake up and you know some things are right and some are wrong. And the problem is the more you do wrong, the more your conscience gets serious, like a uh, creating a callus on your hands. And the longer you sin, the more you sin, the less you feel bad about doing wrong. But God put in your heart the knowledge of right and wrong. And that's why we have standards. Well, look, God didn't want us to wonder if He exists. He does exist, and He loves you today. And He wants you to call out to Him today. And I encourage you to do so. Well, we're all out of time, so until we get together tomorrow, may God bless you and have a great day.